Now let's talk about the strategy that most people think about when they hear the word real estate investing, and that is buying and holding real estate. And this is a strategy in which an investor purchases a property and holds it for an extended period of time. Usually they will intend to sell it at some point in time, sometimes after five or 10 years. And in the meantime, they'll hold on to it for the long term gains or appreciation, tax benefits, and short term cash flow. And this is such a great strategy. It's a great way to build passive income. It's a great way to generate cash flow. It's less time consuming than several of the real estate strategies that I talk about. There are tons of tax benefits for this strategy. And of course, it usually has the added benefit of long term appreciation as well. Some of the cons for buying and holding real estate is that it does usually require a significant amount of upfront capital to purchase the property. It can tie up a lot of your capital as you scale your portfolio. It takes time to see growth. This is not get rich quick. This is something that you have to build over time and your maintenance costs can add up. And sometimes it can take a few years to properly project what your maintenance expenses are going to be year over year. But overall, I love the buy and hold strategy. I would usually recommend that at some point people incorporate this strategy into their investment portfolio in some way, shape or form, because it's a great way to build passive income and generational wealth and it has tons of tax benefits. So if that's interesting to you and you want to learn more about how to take advantage of this strategy or just dive deeper into real estate investing in general, make sure that you follow my videos. And if you want to really dive deep and get started in real estate investing, I have a digital course that walks you through step by step exactly how you need to get started and I can really help you get going. So check that out.